Hi, this is Rick Comerick, Certified Financial Planner, coming at you today with four financial numbers that you should know. Now, these numbers could help you fix some things that may be going wrong, or they can just help you, you know, do the right thing. So let's get started. The first one is your retirement plan contributions. How, if you're still working, how much are you adding into your retirement every single month or every paycheck? And uh, the beauty of this one is you're just paying yourself. It's your money. You get to keep it. It's just a gift to your future self. So go ahead and give yourself a raise and increase your retirement plan contributions. Uh, a lot of people say 10 to 16 percent is a good number to shoot for here. All right. The next one is credit score. Man, there's so many things in life that are affected by the credit score whether it's buying a new house or car, or even getting a job, a good credit score does matter. So know what your credit score is. You can get a free credit report once every three months. So it's a good idea to keep your pulse on that as well. Third number is your debt to income ratio, 36%. That's the key number here. You wanna make sure that your debt payments are not above 36% of your gross income. And of course, ultimately the goal is to drive that down as low as possible. And the fourth and final number that you should know is your net wealth. This is a snapshot in time, and it's really a gauge on where you are financially speaking. Notice I didn't say net worth because it's not where you are in your worth as a person. It's net wealth. Um, but uh, anyways, you should know what that is. And hopefully it's increasing over time as your uh, assets grow and your debts decrease, then your overall net wealth will increase. If you have any questions about these four financial numbers or anything in financial planning related, feel free to give me a call anytime.